Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Gary Troutman. I'm the president and CEO of the Greater Hot Springs Chamber of Commerce and Metro Partnership. Uh, tonight is a night 18 years, give or take, in the making for you, our fantastic seniors, as well as your parents, your grandparents, siblings, guardians, and friends. I've been affiliated with the Chamber now for 18 years also, and I've always remarked as a board member before I got this job that this event was one of my favorite ones that the Chamber does for the community. Uh, there aren't too many things more rewarding than uh, recognizing a young person for their achievements and for the bright future ahead. Tonight marks hopefully the first event of many in the next 30 days or so for you honor graduates as you will be celebrated at scholarship events, rotary programs, your church, and other festivities before you graduate in a few weeks for all the hard work that you put in these past four years when your GPA was being recorded and for all 12 or 13 going back to first grade and kindergarten. You've earned everything and more you'll be celebrated for these next few weeks and, this, and tonight your Chamber of Commerce and your hometown are, hon are honored and humbled to recognize you and your families. This annual event was started in 1986 by Ray Owen Jr while he was on the education committee for the Hot Springs Chamber. And the tradition has continued now in its 36 years. Ray is with us tonight. If you please give him a hand, he's right over here. And Ray's wife, Carrie Lockwood Owen, does a tremendous amount of work also for our young superstars, heading the Scholarship Foundation of the Oakland Foundation. Please give Carrie a nice word. To put together an event such as tonight requires a great staff, so I'd like to thank our team here at the Chamber, Rita Kohler, Mara Kuhn, Lisa Ingebrigtsen, Shannon LeDuc, Michelle Ratcliffe, and Cole McCaskill for all their hard work in making tonight meaningful for so many of you. I'd also like to recognize my boss this year, our Chamber Chairman for 2021, Bruce Jones from Oakland. This event also requires a great sponsor, and since 2006, that sponsor has been Warehouse. So we'd like to thank them for doing this event now for 16 years in a row. Thank you to our Warehouser team back here. <laughs> and I know you Mountain Pine folks can uh, remember, it's great to see Warehouser so vested in the success of our local young people, so we appreciate their partnership. Before we, all honor, before we honor you all individually, I'd like to finish by saying Hot Springs is extremely proud of you. Uh, after you complete your education and the next several exciting years of your life, please consider coming back home and making Hot Springs your permanent home as your hometown can achieve greater things and reach new heights with you being a key part of it. Congratulations to you all. Give yourselves a big hand. I'm going to turn it over to our Vice President of Economic Development, Cole McCaskill. He's going to recognize you all individually, and we'll go with Cutter first and then Mountain Pine, and we'll take photos with uh, your, your school administrators and with the warehouse team. Cole? Thank you, Gary. So, how this is going to work, think of this kind of like graduation practice. I'm going to call uh, the graduating senior's name, and at that time, if the senior would come up and stand here, uh, we're taking a video of this ceremony tonight in case there's any grandparents or extended family that couldn't be here with us tonight. Uh, we're going to send that video out so they can watch this. Uh, we know that you're proud, they're proud of all of you guys. And so after you come up and we recognize you, if you will head back into the photo booth back there, as Gary mentioned, we've got some, some of our chamber leadership and the, the, the superintendent from your school. Uh, Warehouser also has a nice gift for everyone that's pretty cool, and so they'll give you a gift back there. And then when that's finished, you're welcome to come back and sit back at the table here until uh, this ceremony is over. So without any further ado, we will get started here, as Gary said, with uh, let's see, our first, uh, our first uh, uh, honoree is James Gill. James Gill, if you would please come up. How you doing, James? So, uh, James is the son of Randy and Alice Gill. And congratulations. At this time, you'll head back into the photo booth. 
Congratulations, Ben. <laughs> Up next, we have Jordan Fauché. Jordan Fauché, come on down. Jordan is the daughter of Mike and Gina Fauché. In the fall, she plans to head to National Park College and major in nursing. Congratulations, Jordan. Okay, up next we have uh, Brecken not the board. She wasn't able to make it. Okay, well, we'll talk about Brecken anyway since we have some time. Brecken is the daughter of Alicia Knott and Robert DeVord. In the fall, she plans to head to National Park College and major in nursing. Congratulations, Brecken. <laughs> All right, at this time, we'll have Mackenzie Shelton come up. Mackenzie is the daughter of Mark and Mark Shelton and Tony Nelson. In the fall, she's headed to Southern Arkansas University and plans to major in wildlife biology. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up, we have Shalala Delaney. Shalala is the daughter of Stacy and Lonnie Del Delaney. In the fall, she plans to head to Arkansas State University and major in psychology. Congratulations. And last but certainly not least, we have Christian Sheridan. Come on down, Christian. Christian's the son of Brian Sheridan and Crystal Sheridan. In the fall, he plans to head to Arkansas Tech University and major in finance and economics. Congratulations. So that concludes our program at this time. I uh, just want to reiterate, we're super proud of you guys for being in the top 5% of all graduating seniors in Garland County. We're really excited we were able to honor you tonight. I think it's a tremendous achievement. Uh, last year we weren't able to have this event because of COVID. We had to do a drive-through, so I'm really excited we were able to come back together and actually see you in person. Um, but without anything else on the agenda tonight, we just want to let you know congratulations, and, and we're looking forward to seeing what you do in the future. So thanks for coming, everybody.